guys, this is Haley from 101rabbits.com and today I'm going to be doing a video on how to get your rabbit to eat hay. So I'm going to give you five tips today on how to get your rabbit to eat more hay or how to get your rabbit to eat hay if it's not eating any at the moment. So tip number one is to make sure that your rabbit isn't sick. If your rabbit has suddenly stopped eating their hay or stopped eating any of their food, this could mean that they're going through GI stasis, which is a very life-threatening illness, which you need to take your rabbit to the vet immediately. If you notice your rabbit has an overall lack of appetite, this could mean that they are sick as well. Um, sometimes rabbits with uh, overgrown teeth will not eat as much just because it hurts them and it's causing them pain. So. If your rabbit has a lack of appetite, please take him to the vet also. Tip number two is to give fresh hay daily. Rabbits are very picky animals and sometimes they won't eat the hay if it's been sitting there for a day or so. So a good tip to do is to take out all the hay from the hay rack, put it into your hay bin, mix it around, and put it back into the hay rack. This just makes it smell fresher, it mixes it up, makes the smell come out more, um, and this can really help some rabbits eat. Tip number three is to try different types of hay. Some people try one type of hay with their rabbit and the rabbit won't eat it, so they just give up and think, oh well, my rabbit's not gonna eat hay, it's whatever. But actually, hay is one of the most important things in your rabbit's diet. This really helps keep their gut moving, it keeps their teeth trimmed down. It's honestly the best and most important thing in your rabbit's diet. So if your rabbit isn't eating that type of hay, you should try something different. Some rabbits just really are picky and don't like some types of hay. So just because your rabbit doesn't like one type, don't give up. There are many other options. First of all, I would choose a good brand. Um, two of my favorite is Small Pet Select, which is what um, I feed my rabbits all the time. and then. Oxbow is another good brand. Small Pet Select carries a ton of different types of hay. They have multiple different cuttings. They have um, Timothy and Orchard Grass. So there's many different types for you to choose from. I will link a video on the screen for you guys to check out. It's just a video I made on all the different types of hay that Small Pet Select offers. So I personally would suggest getting Small Pet Select hay as you can get it in bulk and it is very fresh and very green. Um, it's pretty much just straight off the fields which is, which is excellent for rabbits. Um, and then I also like Oxbow for um, like different varieties of hay so if you want to mix a different type in that um, that you wouldn't normally buy this really entices your rabbit to eat because it's new, it's fresh, it's uh, smells good, so um, Oxbow has a lot of different types of hay. And you guys can find Oxbow products on like Dr. Foster and Smith website and also PetSmart I think carries it. Um, and then Small Pet Select you can order it off of their website. My fourth tip is to add treats and herbs to your hay. Adding treats or herbs is not something you want to do on a regular basis, but if your rabbit isn't eating hay, this is definitely a wonderful option. What you can do is just to put a little bit of um, dried fruit or dried herbs into your rabbit's hay and this will entice them to eat it because it smells good and they'll pick through it as they're looking for treats um, and this will help them eventually munch on the hay. A really good hay for this is the Oxbow Botanical Hay. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, but that's what I use for Ebony when I first brought her home because she wouldn't eat hay. Um, so I bought some of that for her and um, the nice fresh herbs and everything in there um, really enticed her to eat. I personally would not feed this all the time. Like once they start eating hay, I wouldn't feed this as their primary source just because it does have clover and stuff in it which um, is a little bit high in fat and calcium, which isn't the best. Um, but if you're trying to get your rabbit to eat hay, this is the perfect option. Tip number five is to offer hay in different ways. Some rabbits don't like eating their hay out of a hay rack, while others only eat their hay out of a hay rack. Rabbits are very picky, like I said before, so you just gotta see what your personal rabbit likes and their personal preference. My rabbits are pretty good hay eaters, so I can pretty much put the hay wherever and they'll eat it. Um, but rabbits actually prefer to eat their hay while sitting in a litter box or sitting in a place they like to sleep. So this is a perfect place to put the hay. I personally recommend putting it above a litter box or in the litter box because it keeps the hay mess contained and also a lot of times rabbits will go to the bathroom while eating so this just keeps the 
poop and pee inside the litter box. So one way to offer your hay is to offer it inside of toys. This just makes a really fun, interactive way for your rabbit to eat hay. Uh, you can do it with a paper towel roll or a toilet paper roll, um, or you can put it in like a paper lunch bag, fill it with hay, put some treats in there, um, and that makes a really fun way for your rabbit to eat. So I actually have a video on how I make a um, bag with, full of hay and treats and stuff, um, so I'll link that on the screen. It's probably kind of old, so I don't know how good the quality is, so sorry about that. But you'll get the idea on what to do. Another good way to provide hay is to provide it in a basket or a bin or something. Um, this just helps keep the hay a little bit more contained. A lot of times this is at perfect height for the rabbit to grab the hay and eat it. Probably one of the messiest ways to provide hay is just a big old pile of hay on your floor. Um, this obviously isn't the most realistic option for some people, but other people may not mind. Um, if some rabbits just love it, if you just pile a whole bunch of hay on the floor, my rabbits just like love the look of the mess I guess and just go after it like crazy so um, this is a really good option to try to get your rabbit to eat more hay um, it is very messy the hay will get everywhere and most likely your rabbit will pee on it so that's just a fair warning another good option which is my personal favorite is a hay rack this is how I feed my rabbits hay all the time. I just think this is a very uh, clean way of keeping your hay and it's right above the litter boxes which is great for keeping um, hay contained and poop and pee and everything. So I personally love hay racks. I've had many different types of hay racks in the past. I'm going to link um, some articles down below about hay and getting your rabbit to eat hay. Um, and I wrote some articles for Small Pet Select's blog that I'll link down there and it shows a bunch of my different hay racks that I've had in the past. You can also go through my old videos and check out some of the hay, but um, yeah, that might take you a while as I do have a lot of old videos. And another way to provide hay for your rabbit is to just put a pile of hay inside your rabbit's litter box. A lot of people prefer to do this. They just shove a big pile in the back of the litter box. Um, rabbits really enjoy this to eat it. Um, it's not my personal favorite because it does get wasted a little bit more because they will eventually pee and poop on it. Um, but this isn't unsanitary for rabbits. They're perfectly fine eating out of their litter box even though it may seem very gross. Um, it's just not my personal preference so I just personally don't do it. But Tons of people do and tons of people, people's rabbits really enjoy it. So that's pretty much it for this hay video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and found some useful tips for um, getting your rabbit to eat more hay. Remember that hay is the most important thing for in your rabbit's diet and that they should only be getting grass hay if they're above six months of age. Alfalfa and clover hay is just way too high in fat and calcium and can cause more health problems. But grass hay should be fed unlimited all day long and you really want to entice your rabbit to eat as much hay as possible. If you have more questions on rabbit's diet, I do have an adult rabbit diet um, video that I will link. Um, and this is just helpful to for you guys to know everything that's involved in an adult rabbit's diet. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys found some awesome tips. If you guys have any tips of your own, please leave them in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys soon on a new video. Bye!